Hi everyone, this is Jana and I'm here for OScraps.com and I have for you a designer spotlight for OScraps. As you know, we uh, are doing designer spotlight and showcasing our wonderful designers and this month we're going to have Courtney Designs and uh, she has a special kit for the spotlight and I wanted to show it for you here and do a little bit of demonstration with the brushes and also talk about the challenge she's going to have uh, expressions of solitude challenge which runs from september 7th to the 21st at the old scraps forum and if you didn't check out the forum yet we have several challenges they are easier to see now and for you to find and if you're not sure how just go to our facebook page and we click on the menu videos and you have there a video about our forum and how to find things. So let me show you here the kit that Courtney did for us, which is called Solitude. And there is kind of uh, several parts of this. So we have the kit and then we have some papers and then we have some Let me show you here on my bridge. So first I'm gonna show you the kit. So we have, um, as always, uh, with coordinate designs, we have wonderful art journal kind of style and a lot of painted stuff and a lot of, you know, texture, gessos. And she always does uh, amazing paintings of women for us. So if you like to use that, I know I uh, like to use that. So it's wonderful. And we have another folder here, wonderful mask here. So a lot of bits and pieces that you can create fabulous things and also uh, together with the brushes. But in this kit come the solid papers. So as you can see here, and then we have the artsy papers, which I showed the preview before. So wonderfully painted with that kind of uh, art journal background. And I just want to show how you can uh, change that a little bit and include that in your background. If you want to just to use parts of this paper or maybe, um, you know, just not the whole paper, but just parts of it. And we have the brushes. So as always, uh, which is nice when designers do that. So she has a PNG and she has also the brush file. So to give you that accents, masks, or you can create, you know, help your background to give that, that look. So I want to give you a little tip here. So I have here one of the solid papers and let me grab here one of the artsy papers really like this one and you know what let me start a new file and then we're going to drag this paper and drag this paper and i'm using here photoshop elements 15. okay so we have all there let me just close it here to make things easier for us okay so we have this uh, paper here what I'm going to do actually I'm going to go to the brushes because she includes and that's why we like the when the designer puts um, some PNG we can use the PNG as masks so I can use this grungy here and let me take as well one. Okay, sounds good. So I have this and I have this. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate here Command Control J. And we can create a clipping mask. I'm holding the option Alt and click there. And you can't see because I have this one on the background. And I'm going to clip to that other shape that I did. So now we are going to move this out of the way. You know what? Let me hide one so you guys, I don't get you guys confused. There you go. I'm going to move this. 
and we can make it smaller we can make it bigger and then I can come here on the paper I can come here on the paper and I can move my paper inside this shape and see what part that I like I can make my paper smaller so I get some more of the grunginess here and you know what to make interesting instead of using the same paper why don't we go ahead and use another paper so we have now this I have this let me turn off the out select I have this here so let me put right there and let's go to the artsy papers now and get this one that has the doily oh no wait I want this one really love that cord here it looks really realistic so if you want to give your pages a realistic touch that that is a nice thing to do so okay let's go ahead let me close this Now we put on top of that brush PNG that we have right here because I want more to show this part. Sorry about that. And we're going to create a clipping mask. So this one is very grungy, so I don't see as much. So what can I do now is I'm going to go to the brush. I already loaded her brush here. And I have here the same, you know, the same PNG brush I have here on the ABR file. And let's brush now. This is very big. Let me see the other one. Yeah, the same one here. There you go. So let's make this about 700 pixels. And I have it in black and i'm just gonna brush and what um photoshop just said to me is that because photoshop my photoshop elements makes everything a smart object so i just uh, rasterize it so i'm just brushing here the parts that have the cord so now I can select both and I can just move that more to the side here right and she has here on the elements the main kit she has a mask wonderful mask I love masks that have this grungy edge So let's go back here. And I want on the top here. And I never know if it's going to end up on this position. This is just as I put the picture, then we know I know what I'm going to do later. So. And this picture here that I painted on an app on my iPad and I'm going now to clip this and then from there I can see what I like to do I would like to be and then we can go here on a mask and we can modify and I can adjust later the picture make this edge come and make the picture bigger and then we can do whatever we want like that so this is just um some ideas that you can do you can also come here to the background create a new layer and then put some marks she has some marks here color here from the 
picture and we can create this nice marks there so you can play with the brushes and uh, create your marks on the background so um, again this is just some ideas for you what you can do with it so again this is the solitude as a designer spotlight from Courtney designs for oldscraps.com and we have the kit and we have the artsy papers and we have the brush set and again check the uh, challenge at the forum uh, we can wait to see your creations and uh, you're gonna participate on a $10 coupon to the store so have fun and we can't wait to see your creations thank you so much